Everyone, today we have ultimate comparison of two iPhones which are still good options for now to buy and from right side we have iPhone 14 Plus for 256 GB, 14 Plus which is the latest iPhone up to now, August 2023 and from left side we've got iPhone 12 Pro which is still good phone, it's very hard to buy it right now because it's already out of production, but you can still buy it second hand or you can buy it new one, but uh, on some stores where they still have it, it's very rarely actually for now. So basically the price difference is really huge. This iPhone 14 Plus, I don't think you can find used one, so the new one cost a bit more than $1,000. And from left side, I think brand new you can buy for 700 bucks and the used phone is 600 bucks. So if you compare used 10 Pro versus a new 14 Plus, the price of 14 Plus is almost twice bigger uh, and higher. All right, so let's lock it out. Uh, let me pu put off the cover and let's check it out. Without cover, we've got pretty different colors. So the color of iPhone 12 Pro is a blue, Pacific blue, which was a new color that year. And the color of iPhone Plus is, uh, they call it midnight or just actually white. But from right, you've got the, you got the gold color metal frame. All right, that's how it looks on the back. From the size itself, it seems actually fully same. Only the camera, if you check it out here, you can see that uh, cameras uh, are bigger on iPhone 14, compared like this. But of course, as it's Pro version, it has three cameras and iPhone 14 Plus is just regular version, not Pro, so it has two cameras. In addition, a Pro version has LiDAR scanner and the flashlight looks much bigger and brighter than on a iPhone 14 Plus. Alright, let's actually have a try of a flashlight. Um, it looks pretty similar actually. Very similar, but uh, here you see it's also lightening up the camera while on iPhone 12 is just lighting up itself. Okay, let me turn it off. What else we have from left side? Same bottoms, same actually even location of the antennas. Uh, here is a slot for SIM cards from left. Before it was from right side. Is I say Ah, no, it's also from left. Uh, it's just actually location changed a bit oh yeah location changed a bit it become uh, down actually compared to this one also from the back side we can see that the iPhone is made iPhone Pro Max and this one you can keep all your fingerprints on it as you see even oh, I think on this angle you can see it and here it's much better from uh, resistance against f fingerprints. Okay, let's check the front size. Uh, all right, so as we see, the frame actually is even bigger. It looks bigger, maybe because uh, oh, okay, I think it's I think it's same because the frame here. Let me unlock it very quickly. Yeah, the frame here from on the right iPhone on plus version, the frame is different color, so it's not black. And on the left side, the frame is dark blue and almost uh, almost black. So it seems a bit smaller as I see. Yeah, but in general, I think the frame is pretty much similar. Only this uh, this hole here is a bit smaller, like on iPhone 13 Pro and Pro Max. Here is, of course, is 12 Pro Max, so it's a bit bigger. Uh, from the down, it's also the same, actually. So basically not much changes. From the up, also same. 
same location of uh, all the interfaces. Basically, so that's it. This is what we need to know. It looks very similar. Uh, only the cameras are different from the look. And let us it out. Let's see. So actually it works both okay, the screen brightness, let's test it out. It's also very pretty much similar. Um, yeah, it's very, very comparable. The brightness is similar, the screen actually is the same screen, the sound is the same sound. So the only improvement, um, main improvement is a camera here, because you know, you will not, as a regular user, you never feel how fast it work. It will work always fast. It will work always fast and you will not have any troubles with this one. So basically it should work. Uh... <clears throat> <clears throat> so you will not see any difference here. Usually it works very fast and uh, as a regular user, you will not feel any difference from usage itself same screen size almost same weight almost same battery uh, almost same characteristics like the ram here is also 6.6 six, uh, so the processor is a bit newer but in general the main main difference is camera so that's what we will test out right now so i don't have that good brightness right now so let's go one by one here. Let's make photos. So it's actually in just regular photo one. And let's make the second one here like that. Also, we've got cinematic mode here that I will not test right now because it's not comparable, but it's better uh, because uh, this iPhone 12 Pro Max doesn't support it. All the other modes actually similar. Portrait, photos, videos. All right, let's test video. Test of the video. iPhone 14 Plus. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Sound. One, one, one. All right, so we've tested the iPhone 14 Plus. Let's put it back in the cover here. And let's test the next one. Let's test the iPhone. I'll put it back in a case, actually, just to keep it protected. And let's test iPhone 12 Pro Max right now. So let's put, let's start from the photo, of course. Quite dark here. And it has three cameras, so, but already see that the quality is worse here. And the zoom lens. All right, and let's test the video. Okay, turn off flashlight. One, two, three, one, two, three. Test of the camera of iPhone 12 Pro Max. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. All right, it's done. So let's open up. One, two, three, one, two, three. Test of the camera of iPhone 12 Pro Max. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. Test of the video, iPhone 14 Plus. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Sound, one, one, one. Let's compare. Let's make some brief comparison here. So basically we have the video, photos. All right, there's some old photo, yeah. So there's two photos that we have here. One was in live photo, but it doesn't matter. So let's zoom it out and see. 
uh yeah the camera difference is visible actually it's more details here from right side on 14 plus and the quality is better less noisy and actually it looks even better if you see it like this right so let's take let's check the second lens second lens look much brighter still noise but you can see some text uh, some some sides of it how it, at least how it looks like and unfortunately on iPhone 12 Pro Max uh, sorry it's fully not visible it just look like almost like one part here even you can like this maybe you can see something also the table mm, see here it looks pretty much similar but it catch much more light and the colors for me a bit warmer than an iPhone 12 Pro and the video okay let's why it's post one two three okay this different video <laughs> right let's see the video yes uh, again color is warmer here see less uh, light distortion here as well oh it looks really shitty when it uh, goes to the half uh, i mean like uh, fisheye lens or uh, high angle lens and from right side it looks much better on on 14 plus so that's pretty much it from the comparisons uh, up to you will decide what to buy in case i will not have uh, and i have limited budget and want to have a good iphone i would better prefer iphone 12 pro but in case i have enough money i want a new iphone so 14 plus is a really good option but if you're ready to pay a bit more extra like 200 dollars it's better to take pro max version which will be more interesting for you that's pretty much it and thank you very much for watching and see you next time